Hi my friends, blessed be, it is Magical Mandy, and today is the Gypsy Jewel um, unboxing, or haul, I guess. Um, she is my girl, she's I think based out of Florida. Her name is Ashlyn Pinter, and she's on Facebook, and she does the most fun and amazing lives, and she makes bracelets and necklaces and clay sculptures and just all kinds of amazing things um, and I, I spend way too much of my paycheck <laughs> on her lives and I love her you're my girl so anyway um, I went a little crazy doing a shopping spree and I'm gonna save the biggest best thing for last you're gonna love it um, but I got this a while back and I forgot to show you. It's an agate heart. I think it's agate. Correct me if I'm wrong, Ashlyn. And it's got the moon and the stars in gold. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. So that is some of her amazing products. Um, I've also got this hematite magnetic hematite bracelet and it's adjustable and I love that because it sticks to itself isn't that fun so and of course with these I always have to don't you use your mouth <laughs> to put them on to make them tight but isn't that great and she also makes um, anklets like this too that are larger as anklets um, and I love when you order from her, she always sends the cute little bags, and she always handwrites her labels. Um, so this is like picture Jasper, and it's a beautiful Jasper bracelet. So that was nice, because um, I forget by the time I receive, which not that it takes long to receive your stuff, but you know. I forget what I ordered <laughs> and um, this is um, I think it's peach moonstone I'm obsessed with moonstone so I had to have it and that fabulous she does amazing work all right what else all right <clears throat> and this is her card Ashlyn Pinter Oh, I think it's showing y'all. Is that upside down? No. So email the gypsy Jew at gmail.com or gypsy jewels on Etsy. So that's my girl. Always give her a little shout out. Alright, so oh and also she sent me a little lanyard. It was a little spell bottle with four little tiny sorry, my back four little tiny uh, crystal tumbles in it. Um, unfortunately, the little jar broke, but that's okay. I can replace that. Um, but it came with, I believe that's citrine and some lapis. Can y'all see? Let me turn on this light. Oh gosh, hold on. Oh, that's going to make a crazy glare, but oh well. Alright, so... Oh, lapis. Right there. Oh no. I don't know if that's citrine or what. Anyway, it's pretty. I know this is Tiger's Eye. Can you see the Tiger's Eye? <laughs> and... Ow! Ferret bite my toe and a little amethyst tumble it looks like. I also ordered an amethyst cluster, um, but I left it at work because I need it there, okay? And then let me put you guys on pause. I'm gonna run get a few of the little clay goddesses that she's made that I ordered. Right. Be right back. So I have the goddesses. Uh, the first one I got is this gorgeous little mushroom goddess. She's got her little mushrooms there and her third eye is open 
She's got a little gold glitter on her cheeks and you can hang them or um, put them on a, she's so pretty, or put them on a, um, a chain and make her a necklace. I use her on my altar. And then I also got this one. She's like a very earthen goddess. She's got her um, labradorite stone and her green hair. And I don't know if y'all can see, but the glare is horrible. Let's see. But um, she's got like leaf imprints on her head. She's so beautiful. I love her. And I think I have one more goddess from Ashlyn on my altar. I might have to go get it in a minute. But did I tell y'all that I have an obsession with her bracelets? <laughs> Look at all this. So I've also gotten lava beads. I've gotten Amazonite chip bracelet. Isn't that pretty? She does amazing work. I love like the raw chips and everything. I got the amethyst and pyrite, y'all. I love tumbled pyrite. I love the texture of it because it's smooth on top and it, then it's got the crevices. It's amazing. I got more magnetic. This is a heavy magnetic um, hematite. I love hematite. And then this is my pride and joy. I think I've shown y'all this. Selenite with this little druzy. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh. All right, but this is the piece de resistance. I splurged. My husband would probably divorce me if he know, knew how much I spent on all this, but I could not resist. She makes handmade mala beads. Um, with the standard 108 pieces. They're knotted correctly. They're just absolutely glorious. And this one was so fabulous. I had to have it. So, this is it. So, if you can see, it's got the, and then the quartz. So beautiful. I love 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 the colors so let me look here i have what it is made out of i'm gonna have to keep the label <laughs> yeah ashlyn you just messaged me it popped up um it was the giveaway bottle i guess i won a giveaway i didn't know i won um but that's what broke was the little giveaway bottle but the crystal survived and that's all that matters we're all good all right so this is this mala necklace and look she screamed when I claimed it she was like I'm so glad it's going to a good home because I think Ashlyn said she wanted to keep this one because it just turned out so beautifully um, so it's Amazonite it's clear quartz amethyst and chrysophrase chrysophrase I don't know if I'm saying that right <laughs> but it, it is absolutely glorious. It's my new pride and joy. I don't think I'm ever going to be without it. Um, and we will never tell my husband how much I spent. But with all these amazing crystals, it was worth every penny. Um, and Ashlyn's prices are very fair. So um, that is my haul uh, with the Gypsy Jewel or the, yep, mm -hmm, the Gypsy Jewel. I don't know. Anyway, my girl Ashlyn, you're awesome, and I love you. And um, also, not from Ashlyn, but just in my rummaging and everything, I found this cute little stainless steel cauldron. Whoop, whoop. So help me out, guys. I know if I use it for fire, it'll turn black. But other than that, is stainless steel fire safe? Like, if I know it's going to turn black and I say it's a worthy sacrifice, is it still okay to burn in this? Or should I just use it 
like for water or whatever um so if you guys i'm gonna research it but i just thought that'd be a good question to ask my friends to see if y'all had any experience so let me know i'm gonna go look on my altar and see if i do have one more goddess that i had gotten from ashland i thought so but let me go check i may be wrong I'll be yes, back. I didn't order another one. Um, I just have so much stuff. Sometimes it's hard to keep it all straight. Um, but I did reach 300 friends on YouTube yesterday. And I did a little giveaway on my secret Facebook page. If you um, are interested, you can let me know and we can get in touch and I can add you. Um, but that's why I just had to do a giveaway because I have so much stuff. So, um, I do giveaways a lot because I love sharing all my stuff. But, um, anyway, so me and my girls, my muggle friends, it's my friend's birthday and we are going to San Antonio this weekend for a girls weekend. So, I'm taking my turquoise for safe travels. I'm going to... What I can't pronounce, is it Vevisir, Vegvisir, the Norse compass that helps show you the way. I put it on my new Kia Soul and I'm going to make me a rune, stave rune of it to carry with me for safe travels. And we're also going to visit some caverns in um, San Antonio. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I just, I'm kind of sad because, you know, they're my muggle friends, so I can't really let my witchy flag fly, but it got me thinking, you know, I never do anything for my birthday, ever, um, but I should start, like, doing, like, a witchy retreat or something in March for my birthday. We could, like, all pitch in together and go in on, like, a cabin by a lake somewhere and just commune with nature, commune with each other, and I would love to start doing that for my birthday. So, you know, if you're my friend and you're interested in doing that, we can get together on it. Um, but also, I was researching yesterday. Um, I have been a witch all my life because of my grandma, but I've really started uh, researching witchcraft uh, just in the last two years. And I had never, I knew that witches carried staffs. But I never knew that they were like a thing, like history, like they are called staying stangs. And they're basically, you know, used for traveling and everything. But they can also represent like a traveling altar. So wherever you stick it in the ground is where you can set up your altar. So you can decorate it for the sabbats, for the seasons, espats, whatever, you know, and have your altar with you. And it can be used like a wand for like directing power and things like that. You can put a candle on it. And I learned that, you know, typically they are forked at the top. Now I have a walking stick um, that I use, but now I've put my call out to the universe since discovering this and I will be looking for a forked stang stang um, because I just I love it and I want to decorate it and I, I want to keep it as like my altar for when I go into nature and everything and I love it when um, I've researched and I've seen where they put like animal skulls on top and I have my beautiful deer that my friend gave me and I love that, you know, it's so old and part of it's broken. And my kid painted the symbol here. And so whenever I do find my my staying, my stang, whatever, however you say it, I want to attach this. And see, I can put my candle here when I'm using it as an altar. Um, so that's something I'm really excited about. And with going back to school and previous to that, you know, just having a lazy summer, I haven't done a lot in my magic and I miss it and I've just kind of been like blah you know but this discovering this has given me back the desire to create that I first had when I first really started studying witchcraft I just wanted to make all the things and I was so happy and I just stayed busy 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 and so this has like really brought that joy back 
and so I'm super excited about that. So stay tuned as I do more research and learn more and keep my eyes and ears and heart and soul open to finding what the universe has for me since I put the call back out. You know, once you, I love the roomy quote, what you seek is also seeking you. So I know my sting is out there and it's looking for me and I really feel like I'm saying that wrong every time I say it and I feel like y'all are gonna hate on me and <laughs> don't. I'm still learning <laughs> and I want to learn and I want to do it all justice but I also want to make it my own. So that's the that's the the balance that we witches really have to walk the tightrope between you know we want to do our own thing but we also want to show respect to tradition and culture and of course not appropriate at all um so i always keep my eyes and ears open for that so that's pretty exciting now one more thing i want to mention to you while i have you here is you guys know i'm a pre-k teacher and i create designs for teachers pay teachers it's a website where teachers and parents can go and get resources for education and i just love working with um graphic design digital design and i make cute little pre-k things but there has been some cute little you know magic is in the media these days and so it's starting to pop up as educational resources and like harry potter themed things or like mystical and magical themed things so i was searching teachers pay teachers yesterday and i came upon this amazing store and it is called um digital curio and her i assume she's a her because her stuff is just so elegant but her logo is a cute little dragon and literally i kid you not on the teachers pay teachers website she has collections of like witchy stuff and one of her collections is called hedge witch hedge witch digital paper hedge witch clip art she has steampunk she has like um the tent of the mystics collection she has um just tons of like different color like purple witch collection navy witch collection like oh my gosh so much and to find someone who's also a teacher and who is obviously a witch um because you don't know like hedge witch and stuff like that i'd never heard that until i started researching witchcraft and so she's a witch you know it takes a witch to know a witch and for her to be a teacher and a witch it was like it made my day i'm like i'm not the only one you know we can be magic and we can we can mix our craft with our work and it's all a part of our essence and who we are and it just made my day and her products are so gorgeous so gorgeous and the best part about it is that it's not like she doesn't have like a strict copyright like you know you want to give her credit but as long as you make products of your own out of her digital paper and her clip art you can resell it you can use it in things um and so i really want to show her appreciation for that and i bought like 13 dollars worth of her stuff yesterday but i could not sleep last night thinking about it and so i went back and i bought every single one of her witchy themed collections and each of her collections has like 20 or more products in it and i swear i think i bought like 50 collections that you know have to do with witchcraft in some way or that i can use um, and so I spend an ungodly amount of money, but I don't feel bad about it because when am I ever going to find that again? You know, and right now, I don't know for how long. So that's why I wanted to share it with you guys right now. She has a sale going. So a lot of her collections, which are like 20 or more products, but each of her collections is on sale for like two or three bucks. Oh my gosh. So I have more witchy digital paper 
um, scrapbook paper online, um, and clip art, like steampunk, skulls, um, straight up hedge witch stuff, um, just anything you can imagine. Um, I have it in digital form and I can like make grimoires for people. I can make um, grimoire sheets and sell them and I will, she doesn't say that you, she says you don't have to give her credit for it but I will because this person is amazing and she deserves all the credit and advertisement she can get and I wish I knew how to like contact her personally and tell her how much I love her and um, she's out of California but you're not able to like message sellers privately on Teachers Pay Teachers so and I've googled um, digital curio and I haven't found where she's on Facebook or Instagram under that name I even looked under Etsy because honestly she's selling her stuff her collections for two to three dollars right now on Teachers Pay Teachers, but I know people who would gladly pay like twenty, twenty-five dollars per collection for her stuff because it's that high quality. Um, and she could sell like to the witchcraft community because it's a small niche of teacher witches, you know. Other than Halloween, a lot of teachers aren't gonna be buying that stuff as much as it's 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 worth it for her because her talent will blow your mind. So parents, you can get on Teachers Pay Teachers and you can purchase products. And I highly recommend if you're interested in creating your own um, digital grimoire or grimoire pages or scrapbooking pages or even print them out, you know, and have a hard copy, do it. Her stuff is worth it. It's affordable. It's high quality. I can't say enough. So if I'm able to link her shop from Teachers Pay Teachers in the description, I will. And stay tuned for some products that I'm gonna create thanks to this amazing teacher witch that I have found. Um, so anyway, stay tuned to that for that and stay tuned for San Antonio Picks. Look at my mala. Look at it. It's glorious. Get in touch with Ashlyn Pinter. The gypsy jew to get your gorgeous malas and necklaces and bracelets galore all right guys i love you thank you for listening to me ramble um but i'm glad to be back rambling because the last three weeks month i haven't really done a lot of videos getting back in the swing of things with work so when i can jump on and just ramble i'm gonna do it that might be all you get from me for a while because life. But I'm still here and I'm still feeling the magic. And I love you all. Blessed be. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> See you later.